Hey guys, today I'm going to be working on a mixed media project that sort of is inspired by flowers. As you can see here, I'm drawing some flower shapes, I'm spraying on some water. I'm going to go in with my Payne's Gray from Schmincke, which I love this color so much. I'm just sort of adding in some light washes and adding in some greens and grays here to sort of make some variety. Going in with some thicker Payne's Gray here. Um, and now I'm just going to go back and take some away. I'm really loving these granulating Schmincke watercolors. They are so fun to work with and I love the effect. Um, I'm going to add in some dry brush watercolor here because I want to go back in with uh, an eyedropper to make some marks that way as well. This is my very dirty plate of my leftover Schmincke colors. They're very expensive, so I don't like to waste them. Here I am adding in some water, and I really like the, the marks that I can make when I add water in this way, and then use the tip of the pipette to make marks that way as well. I just think it adds something to it, and they're very subtle when they dry, so it's kind of nice. Now I'm going in with the desert orange schminke color, granulating watercolor. Um, again, we're just trying to imply the floralness to this piece. I'm adding more water and more color because with these paints, you're going to want to add, uh, it's the water that tends to make them granulate a lot. And we want a lot of that good granulating orange color to mix with that paint's gray. Um, I did add a little bit of pink into that, but I didn't record it. <laughs> um, so here I'm going in with my Ink Tense pencil in Midnight Blue. Um, you guys know I love these pencils because they're water soluble, um, but they dry permanent. So it's a nice way to add over watercolor and they don't re-wet. So that's kind of a nice feature. I just want to get some starker lines in here and I'm adding in some of brown ink tints as well. And then I made this stamp and I will leave a link above to the short that I made about making this stamp. Uh, it had blue on it, so I had to start over because um, I don't want blue in this piece. And then I'm just adding in some parchment color acrylic paint and we're just gonna stamp right there. And just a quick note, I do dry between layers, so um, I really love the effect of that stamp. Now we're going to go in with some white gesso and make some marks with this. I apologize right at the top. The sun came out right when I was recording this and it's kind of hard to see. Um, but I'm using my catalyst tool to make marks and draw back in. I think this is a really cool way to add in texture and add in transparency in some spots to give it just a little bit more depth. And you'll see that when, again, I apologize for the sun coming out. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick little demo and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much, bye.